Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Kriegsmarine, and we're in 2nd of April, or week 2 of April, 1940. Um, yeah, aircraft carrier sunk last time. It's um, it's all go. It's all go. Uh, we've um, Let's just take a, a check on where we actually are. Um, that U-42 is almost repaired. She took some damage, if you remember. Uh, we've got a full fleet. And um, we had the skirmish last off the Icelandic coast. Down here in the uh, convoy routes, we've got the Prince Eugen heavy cruiser, the Karlsruhe light cruiser, and the destroyer Z-18, plus the U-boat uh, U-37, who's just patrolling the area as well. We're going to move these guys around to try and find some juicy targets. And down here by Dakar, we have the battleship Gneis now, uh, in her little group of escorts. Uh, escorted by the Collinsberg light cruiser and the destroyers Z-17 and Z-5. They're all doing well. Um, the tonnage is probably looking a little bit heavier up there, so let's move them back up the coast a little bit. Um, in the med, we've got U-38 just patrolling. All looking well. We've got U-boats all the way around there. Doing fantastic. Um... Any ships sneaking through the Denmark Strait? No, not apparently so. So it's good. You can see the tonnage bar. We're almost 50-50 now. Uh, we've really been causing a lot of damage in the last couple of weeks. Oh! <laughs> Talking of causing a lot of damage, we got potential causing a lot more damage now. U-41, she has light damage. She's just found an enemy group. Led by the battleship Prince of Wales, the destroyers Blanche or Blanche or and Oribi uh, as the escort. I wonder if they were they were hunting down the Gnais now, perhaps. Well, if we could take the Prince of Wales out, that would be a huge, huge loss to the Royal Navy. Oh my goodness! And here we are. Look at that! Look at that! Straight in our sights. Let's turn slightly to starboard. Whoop. And there's a Prince of Wales right there, 6,900 meters. Uh, I just think we lose, we lose straight away. There was no point delaying. Torpedo solution of 29.7, which is there. We'll do a full spread. Not worried about the destroyers. We can even run away. Uh, I'm going to pop that one in there. Bye. Torpedoes away. This would be a huge boon for the uh, for our forces. If we could sink the... Look at that. She's an incredibly powerful ship. Oh, hang on. That was a slight miscalculation. One's hit. One's a dud. And two are going to sail by. That's a bit crap. Uh, let's dive down. Wait for the torpedoes to reload. Oh, what a missed opportunity. The solution was not good. She may now move into position where those torpedoes will strike. Just the way the, the dice rolls, as it were. But, um... Yes, they, they'll probably destruct, will they? We will see. We will see. We'll keep an eye on her. Yes, magnetic torpedoes. So she's had three torpedo strikes. One in the side, two underneath. Let's have a look. Oh, well, they've actually re registered there. That's fine. And the other one was right on the, the nose, wasn't it? Probably that little dark spot there, but... She's listing. Not the way you'd think she'd list, but that's okay. Um, I, oh, we're going to try and keep with these guys to see if we can reload and fire another lot of salvos but she's now running away oh we may have missed this the solution gods may not have been kind to us today torpedo reloaded nice right we'll go up next time and we'll launch another torpedo at her that will probably be our last chance because she'll be out of out of distance, out of range of our torpedoes by then. So this is it. One more torpedo. 
We never know. We might get a reload next time and we may have be able to have a second shot. Do you have any unique? No, no aircraft drops either. Right, Prince of Wales is there. Oh, we've got, she's got smoke. What is her range? Can we... So, it's probably going to be about 7,000 metres again. So, if we plot for about there... We do away. Because she is turning as well, so... Ooh, she's turning sharper than I was expecting. They very often turn hard one way, then... Oh, the other. Oh, we've been spotted. Oh no, she's not going to get away with it. Nice. One more movement. And that should probably hit her midships. Right, let's uh, dive. We'll probably get a reload now. No, we didn't. Okay, good. Mid to, mid to rear, that's fine. That's going to be a good hit. That's where the other two torpedoes struck. Yeah, we got her! That must have been a magazine. Oh my goodness, that must have been a magazine. Where is she? Incredible. This game just keeps throwing these capital ships at us. Unfortunately, we're in a position to... Um, cause absolute mayhem. This is the Prince of Wales. What a magnificent ship. Four torpedo hits. Did in for her. Wow. That is one ship we did not want to be uh, engaging the Gnais now for sure. And with that, U-41 disengages. Crikey. The battleship Prince of Wales sent to the bottom 38,000 ton loss. Obviously, 38,000 renown earning for us to uh, buy more ships in the future, which is fantastic. The two destroyers left uh, chasing their tails. No problems at all. U-41 sneaks away with light damage. Uh, never going to be, be buying a drink for a long, well, for the rest of the war at least. Uh, the crew of U-41, fantastic, fantastic. Right, how is she, torpedoes-wise? She's 17, she's still good to go. Awesome. Brilliant. I can't believe the capital ships we've seen in this series so far. It's been incredible. Right, so we're moving to week 3, April. Not much happening, which is good, I suppose. Um, we've got the U-boat U-42 coming out of Kiel. Uh, we'll move her up to Trondheim, and then we'll move U-32 uh, over to um, the Faroe Isles area. And then U-64 over to Iceland, and then U-44 into the Denmark Strait. There we go, we got that covered off as well now. Nice. Nice. Obviously, there's only single ships. We haven't got any wolf packs set up, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, it's going okay. Yeah, nothing much to do, I don't think, this time. Oh! Uh, the Blanche uh, shows up again, this time escorting a large freighter. Uh, U-37 has engaged her. Okay, here we are. Uh, U-37 will turn slightly to port. We'll target the merchant ship, which is a freight of 6,000 meters away. We've got the Blanche, which is 5,000 meters away. Right. Uh, we'll pop a torpedo at... We've only got two torpedoes. We'll fire one at the Blanche. Do we have any aircraft? No. Okay. Fire that at the, the Blanche. Uh, 329.4 is the solution. 329.5. Let's fire that. And I'll fire one at this. Uh, that's 359.8. Yeah. Torpedoes of 8. We'll see how that goes. 
Obviously, the distances are reasonably close. So hopefully, they'll strike on the same turn. Okay, the Blanche has already turned. Oh, but I don't think it's going to be enough. We're going to snag her. Oh, she's gone. What a hit. We turn to look at the other one. Oh, has that gone in front of her? No, it's not quite. It's not quite arrived there. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so we can actually probably surface the boat if we wanted to. Uh, man the deck gun. Get some high explosives. Uh, the wind is light straight towards the ship, which is good. Elevation of 9. 8.8. .8. Fire. Slightly short. Torpedo's going to get up. And we'll finish her off with a deck gun. No need. She's gone. What a fantastic... Textbook engagement by U-37. Two torpedoes, two ships sank to the bottom. One a destroyer for 1360, and the other a large freighter for 8,700 tons. Nice. That's all going rather well. Too well, some would say. There's bound to be payback. Karma can have a way of catching up with you. But yeah, so far, maybe we'll move the guys now around keep her patrolling between Dakar and up there in the um, the Canary Isles Ooh, April week 4 April 1940 nothing happening nothing much doing everyone sort of sort of counting the cost I think of the attacks uh, meanwhile around Iceland U64 has engaged and identified a destroyer Grafton uh, in the Icelandic waters. The attack is on. She's a little bit far away, so we'll just continue to move forward. We'll hold here. Oh, she's turning already. We may just disengage. Let's see. How far away is she? 5,000. Ooh, okay. We'll hold it for now. No, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna sail away. And if that's the case, uh, we might just disengage. And that's exactly what we did. U64 slinks away. None the wiser is the Grafton. Fantastic. Meanwhile, U34, paydays come. One, no, sorry. Oh no, wow. Uh, five destroyers are escorting. Two tankers and uh, a couple of freighters as well. Wow. This is in the Western Approaches, so we may have aircraft support as well, which would be awesome. Oh my good god. This is obviously very critical oil they need to get through. We've got the three destroyers here. We've got the Grenville destroyer up front, and we've got the Kelly over there. We've got the Restigouche, the Obedient, and the Lance also. T2 tankers, right. We're going to have a pop of the tanker, maybe one of these destroyers as well. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, let's just move. There we go. <laughs> I almost <laughs> surfaced the boat. That could have been exciting. Right, so the um, rest of gauche here. 347 is the solution. Loose a torpedo there. There's that oil tanker. Uh, 329.5 I'll put two torpedoes for the tanker and I'll hold the torpedo back or maybe I should go for this destroyer as well, the obedient because they're, they're yes, while they're sailing straight and level, let's do that 9.7, it's a terrible angle fire torpedoes away Keep an eye just in case that makes it to that one. No, it doesn't quite. Oh, they all turn. Boom, rest of gauche. Oh, that one's going to miss. And that one's close. But the destroyer is gone. Um, now I think we dive. And wait for a reload. angered all the destroyers now look at them where is he where is he the little devil they're saying oh 
he's, that torpedo's going to hit. Oh, that went straight under the um, tanker. Well, that was unfortunate. But we did get a strike on the destroyer. I think she got hit by the um, torpedo. Yeah, but they went straight under that one. I think it's probably just the way the the dice rolled with the between the turns. So that's unfortunate. We'll continue forward. We'll be, have a reload in the turn. Oh, she's she's getting, she's making smoke. She's sinking. And that one just went in front of her. That's okay. She was slightly behind it. That's good. Right. I think we'll have a reload this time. Reloaded. Okay. Good. Continue to close in, and then um, we'll try and have a pop up and have a shot at the D tanker. Ideally, I'd like two torpedoes, so we don't have to expose our periscope for too long. Um, to get, you know, because I think they're going to be two torpedo hits, but they're moving away quite quick, so let's get this shot away. Right. There she is there. Oh! The Obedient has just blown up. That's two destroyers we've taken out. Incredible. Right. Uh, this tanker, 337.4 is the... Um, Is the wadget. Fire. The tankers are going straight, which is nice to see. That should help our chance of getting a good hit. Nice. We're going to stay on the surface because I think we might have a reload this turn. No, we don't. Damn. Okay, we've put ourselves into a little bit of danger. They may spot us. No. The sun at our back is helping. Hey! Torpedo strike on the tanker. No fluffs given. Great. Right. Hopefully a reload this time. Yes. Now we concentrate that torpedo. Still on the same tanker. Three, four, six point six. We'll try and get that tanker. If we get the tanker, I'm happy to call it a day. And get out of dodge. Let's dive down. Sit quietly down here for a moment. Uh oh, they've called in the short Sunderlands. Not at a particularly safe depth. These are anywhere near on target. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, they got her! U 34's gone! And we'll never know if that torpedo will strike that. Oh, it would as well. That would have been a kick. Well, maybe a kill. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be. U 34, we salute you. Sadly, we've lost them for 800 negative tons for oh, 800 positive tons, I suppose you'd say for the uh, for the British. Sadly, right, but we we didn't go 
down without a fight. We damaged a T2 tanker, which we may have destroyed on that second pass. Uh, and we destroyed two destroyers, one for 1,610 tons and the other for 1,375. U34, we salute you. Meanwhile, in the Cape Verde Isles, Allied convoys attacked by warships. 86,130 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. There we go. We've lost our um, our U-boat there, so um, we need to come to kill, and we need to get a new U-boat. Commission a new U-boat, please. Look at that, we've got 142 renown now, which is fantastic. Only a few months to wait, and we'll buy the battleship Bismarck. Or maybe the Turbits, I haven't decided yet. How much were they, by the way? Um, 75,000. Oh, we're close to be able to buy both. That'd be nice. Um, anyway, uh, U-boats, that's what I'm after. Here we go, well, we've got Type 7, the classic Type 7. Let's put the legendary U-77 out on the seas. Brilliant. Right, U-77. Um, why don't you go and do British waters and then U43 can shuffle over and we'll get that covered off nice 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 right tonnage war is going very well we're into May 1940 now and yet the targets keep appearing blimey around the Faro Islands U32 has just spotted the light cruiser Birmingham Let's have a look at the Birmingham. She a town class light cruiser, 12 times 6 inch guns. And she's got 6 torpedoes as well. 4.5 inch bell armor, 2 inch turret, 1.25 deck armor, 12,000 tons. She's got 3 aircraft on her as well. Nice. Anyway, um, back. Um, so she's actually driving away from us, isn't she? Which is not great. We might have to have a shot straight away. This is, this is a real chance. Do we have any aircraft? No. This is a real long range, chancy shot. But it's, as I said, it's worth it for a, a, a expensive target. So 25.1 they reckon. So I'll pop one at 25 and what I might do is fire a spread so we can try and maim her. And then hopefully, if we do maim her, we can follow up with the reloads and... Ah, uh, oh, she's turning. Bugger. They're all going to drift wide. Yep, they're going to sail on by. Sail on by. Now, that was so close. The one right there, that torpedo right there. Let's disengage. We The opportunity's gone. The light cruiser Birmingham, we salute you. Well played. Good <laughs> lazy turn, which avoided our torpedo solution. As I say, they were chancy sh um, shots. You know, a bit of wild card to see if we could get anything. We didn't. There's no point trying to um, follow up a uh, bad situation. Right, in the North Atlantic, Allied convoys attacked by submarines. 46,000 tons of merchant stuffing has been sunk. Noise, noise. Um, all going well. I might move, start moving the guys now around again. And maybe we should move the Prince Eugen. Just so with the uh, Royal Navy doesn't send any submarines after them. Cool, cool. Meanwhile, in the East Saragossa Sea, Allied convoys attacked by submarines. 38,580 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. And that is all. 
So we're getting into May now. And not a lot is happening, which is good. I was imagine the uh, the Royal Navy is uh, really smarting. They've lost a lot of ships, which is going to equate to a lot of uh, resources they've had to spend to uh, get supplies in. Um, although we were trying to go easy, there's a, there's a fair chance that we may actually get Britain on her knees far sooner than we wanted. Meanwhile, U-42, up in the Norwegian Sea, has come across the destroyers Gurkha and Orbini. And uh, maybe she fancies a little bit of uh, glory. So let's uh, turn and face. Who do we have up front? We have the Orbini. Oh, we have aircraft as well. Torpedo bombers. Ooh. Well, let's let's try those up out for, for size first off. Uh, we'll try and come in at an angle where the other ship isn't really helping um, defensively wise. Well, you have to be brave to be a torpedo pilot or bomber. We know way. Looking good. Oh, actually, I didn't counter for her moving. Yeah. I need to put it a bit further forward. Yeah. Okay. That was a good dry run. That was a good dry run. Right, let's try that again. We're coming from this side. I was thinking I could get close enough to try and hit her in one, but obviously I can't. So we'll aim just in front. About there, yeah. Boom. Here we go. We do away. Hopefully that'll be. Oh god, they turn so sharply. I have no idea where this torpedo is. What are we looking at, camera? Nothing. I guess that missed. Oh yeah, it did. Look, crikey! All right, all right. Let's have a go at the other one. We're not having much luck here. Torpedo bombers are far better against um, heavier capital ships. We don't duck and weave as quickly. Ooh, that's close. See, we can't get close enough. Um, oh, we're watching the wrong torpedo. We got a torpedo strike with that second one. Yeah, really what you want to do is be able to get really close. So you can drop it so close to the aircraft it'll do a one, one turn hit, if you know what I mean. But uh, unfortunately, um, we're not in that position. Let's have another run on this one. She's probably been slowed down a bit by that torpedo hit. Oh. AA is getting a lot more accurate. Again, we're watching the wrong one. Oh, I don't know if that missed anyway. Yeah, it did. Right, okay, this is becoming slightly frustrating. I'm sure you're feeling it as well. Um... Right, we'll come in from the other angle this time. Uh, fly up, bomber, fly up. Why is he not? Why is he not? Uh, I think that might have bugged out. Yes, I think that's definitely bugged out. That doesn't look normal. No. 
<laughs> what is going on? The plane can't even catch up with it. What an holy instrument of war have we just unleashed? Oh, watch out, America. <laughs> it's coming for you. Okay. Um, that engagement completely bugged out and I had to start and uh, close and start the game again. Um, so we're back to week two, May 1940. United Kingdom, Allied convoys attacked by submarines, 40,560 tons of merchant shipping sunk. The West North Atlantic, Allied convoys attacked by submarines, 44,330 tons of merchant shipping sunk. So there we are. It looks like a 50-50 split in the tonnage war, and that seems like a perfect place to end this week's episode. Taking on to the report. Week 2.5 of May 1940. Kriegsmarine naval vessel sunk 20 for 139,504 tons. The Royal Navy and, I suppose, Allied uh, vessels sunk 74 for five. Wow, this is the yeah, the naval vessel sunk 74 for 583,235 tons. Wow. Merchant ship sunk 411 for 1.9 million tons. Crikey Moses. The Allied merchants are currently losing 211,000 tons per month on average, which is um that is hemorrhaging so much tonnage. They can't sustain that for much longer. Now, we may have to ease up if we want America to join the war <laughs> at this point. Uh, but yeah, we're going great guns. Um, slight technical hitch in this video. Sorry about that. That's something slightly odd. But you know, sometimes you get that. You just got to work your way around it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Atlantic Fleet playthrough. I certainly am. If you are, then please hit that thumbs up. Um, by all means, share on social media. Make sure to hit the subscribe. Tickle the bell so you don't miss the next video release. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.